Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, <clears throat> man, I'm pooped. I've been rearranging <laughs> plants around between my living room to upstairs for the last few days and I repotted a couple of plants that needed it and I need to also repot my, this is my philodendron uh, mexicanum. You can see her. This is her newest growth up here. And she's got another new growth down right here. But if you can see, her stem is really wobbly. And even with the moss pole in there, I put lava rock on top, hoping it would secure it a little bit, but it's not. So, what I want to do with her is, first I want to take all this rock off. I want to get her in a bigger pot. She's been in this pot ever since I got her. And I believe I got her... Oh, God, I don't know. The beginning of summer, I think, maybe? This was a plant that I got from Garden Goods Direct, I think. But see how long her stem is and how wobbly it is? I just, I want to get it... What I want to do is repot her into this pot and get the stem down farther into the soil so she's not hopefully so wobbly but I might still end up having to put some rocks and stuff back in it but all right that's good enough now I watered her um, earlier today because I really didn't know I was going to repot her until I went to move her and seen how wobbly she was. And so I am just going to get her out of this pot. The soil is going to be really wet. I need my knife. I'm just using a uh, butter knife to loosen because I mean I just watered her today so she is wet and she's been in this pot for a long time so honestly because she has just really taken off pretty good for me she does need to be in a bigger pot and that stem bothers me I don't want her to snap off and break. I want to see her roots and because she really did not have a very good root system when I bought her. Yeah, her roots look pretty good. But see how far up her stem is? And it's really, really super wobbly. So... I want to eliminate, I want to eliminate that wobble. So I am going to put her, I'm going to lay her down for a moment. And then I'm going to be putting her in this big pot. Yeah, I already repotted like two, I think two plants today, but <clears throat> they were just simple, easy, or, you know, simple plants. And as you can tell, I left my uh, climbing post in there just to keep her more secure and I like to leave them on if I can that way um, you're not worrying about breaking uh, roots when you're jamming your 
climbing pole back in. But I think she is sitting. Oh, I need a slug of coffee, guys. Now I got mud all over my cup. <laughs> I don't want her this high. So I'm going to raise her up just a little bit more. But I got to get, I just seen another tie on here. I want to get that off of there. Slip down. I think that was from when I had a smaller, well, it was actually just a steak. It wasn't actually a climbing post, pole, post. I don't know why I keep saying post. But maybe if it's long enough, I can wrap it. Nope, not going to be long enough. Let me grab something else. Okay, I got two bread ties. I'm just going to, bread ties work great for, I save all mine, but they work great for sticking your plants up. I love them. Better than throwing them out, I figure, so. But what I want to do is stick the bottom of this. to my climbing pole. That'll help pull her up a little more securely and not have so much wobble to her. And this is a bigger pot than what I need, but it's the only pot that I have. So, oh, I need to go plant, plant? Oh my god, I almost said I need to go <laughs> plant shopping again. Now, I don't need any more plants. I need pots. So, I am just going to... I'm going to lift her up just a little bit more. That looks about maybe right. Because she's got an air root growing right here. And she'll get more roots... Um under the soil but I'm also not going to fill the whole pot up with soil either so you know I'm not going to do the normal since this is too big of a pot I'm going to leave it a little shallow I want to put um, some worm castings on But yeah, she's just a little bit too wiggly for my liking, so. And I had this pot, so I figured why not get her in it. See, that's much better. I mean, I still might have to put some rocks behind my um, climbing pole, post pole. Good God, I don't know what I'm seeing no more. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm tired, that's what. But, I thought you guys might want to see this and see how I... <coughs> the reason why was because of the stem down here was so long and it was so high up in this pot, that this other pot that she was in. And it was really wiggly, and I thought, oh my god, she's going to break off. And I don't want that to happen, so... And I was thinking about... This here is older. I was thinking about maybe... Tying her back right here, too. Uh... I think I'm actually going to do that. Oh, I'm going to go get my Velcro that uh, Jessica sent me. 
I keep forgetting about this roll of, it's a Velcro uh, stuff that my friend Jessica sent to me. And I keep forgetting that I have it. I'm so used to using twine and bread ties <laughs> that I old habits to break hard, I guess, right? But I'm going to Boy, that one's about had it. I'll just use a piece of the Velcro. I, I will say I like the Velcro. I just need to um, get used to using it. It's kind of weird at first when you're using it. Or I don't know. Maybe it's just me being goofy. But it's, it's kind of weird to learn how to wrap around your plant and how much to cut off. And, but I'll get used to it. I'm just not used to using it. See now, that, oh god, that was almost too short. But that works. And then I was thinking about... I don't know, she seems really secure now. She's not as wobbly. I think that looks pretty good. Um, she see, she's a lot more secure in this pot now than she was. I'm, I'm happy with that. I just want to find, I don't know, the stake is holding her up pretty darn good. So, I don't know. I think it's good. She's got a new growth coming out and I need to... I need to wipe off her leaves. Again, so dusty in the house in the winter time. Oh, that and when you have animals, and I have, I have two cockatiels and a dove, and boy, that really creates a lot of uh, dust and dander flying around the house. It seems like you're never done dusting plants or furniture. <laughs> God, but I think that's going to work out a lot better for her. I'm really happy with it. Um, I guessed it really good with the Velcro tape. I think that's what you call it, Velcro tape or gardening Velcro or I don't know, but I like it. Um, I've used it quite a few times now and it works pretty good, but... Like I said, I just have to remember to, I just have to remember to use it because I'm so used to using my wire and my bread ties and I, I save my bread ties like I'm a little hoarder because I use them for my plants. So, um, and you know what, something else I save guys is like if you, if you go to the grocery store and like buy a cake or um, sometimes you get a, a pie or a cake or something like that and I've got a whole bunch of these it's like the top of the cake pan I save these because these make great um, uh, draining trays and I use them for to put old soil in when I'm making videos or just whenever when I'm in the house, you know, and not outside being able to do it, but, you know, they really come in handy and they're really sturdy. So that's another cheap way of, I've, I've got a lot in different sizes. They aren't all this tall and, uh, yeah, tall. <laughs> God, I, I am really tired. I'm wore out and my back is killing me. I'm glad I'm about done. But, um, Anyways, yeah, if you save those kind of things, then you guys might already do that. But, um, they make great, uh, water catch. And I water a lot of my inferiums and soak them, my orchids. Um, they come in really handy. But yeah, that is my Mexicanum. She is finally growing for me and doing pretty good. Um, 
she was kind of, uh, kind of had a stop when after I got her, and then she finally shot up the sleeve, and then this one up here, and now she's got another growth, so I think she's on a pretty good roll. Um, I just watered her this morning, so I'm not going to be watering her again. I'll wait for, you know, two, three days, whatever, and then I'll water her again. But, um, the philodendrons are hungry and thirsty, so, especially in these terracotta pots, and especially with my fast-draining soil. So, if you don't have terracotta, and really fast draining soil like I do. I'm sure your plants don't need water that often, but mine do. I actually made this mix uh, my, my, for my regular soil mix. Um, I backed off of some of the perlite and I backed off of some of the uh, bark because I wanted to try to get it to hold moisture a little bit longer so I'm not having to water so often. Um, you know, especially with my philodendrons because I have to water my anthuriums and my orchids a lot. So I'm just trying to cut down on my workload. So if you're having that problem and you're having a hard time keeping up with watering, um, Try to make your, your soil just a little heavier. Just a little, not a lot. Because, you know, you still, you still don't want your plants sitting in mud. You know what I'm saying? But... Okay, guys, I am going to let you go. Um, I am going to go put my plant back where she belongs. And I am going to sit down and have a cup of coffee. I will talk to you guys later. You have a great day. Bye. Peace.